and, and we could have went someplace uh, if it wasn't for Vince Russo. And uh, he didn't like it. Well, he didn't like me because uh, he thought he knew more about wrestling than I did and stuff he was coming up with. He, uh, it, it, it wasn't true. It, it wasn't good. Uh, and if I'm going to do a gimmick or something like that, I'm going to do it the best of my ability, not coming from somebody that don't have a clue about it, you know? And uh, it's like T.L. Hopper. He he gave me this whole thing. I was supposed to do a, a interview. I've been de- doing interviews my whole life. And then he wrote out my interview, and he did all this stuff on the plumber plumber and all this and well, none of it made any sense none of it and I, my father was a master plumber and that's God's honest truth we get up every morning I've dug ditches all this put pipes up uh, you know running sewer lines the whole nine yards and he was trying to come up with some kind of stuff well this is what they did I said they get some shit I don't do that and uh, so me and him never did really get along and then he tried to tell me well there's nobody uh, in the world uh, wears bev overhauls anymore i said once again you show your ignorance that might be one of the reasons he don't like me <laughs> because i would tell him how ignorant he was uh you know uh you come to Tennessee, I, I can take you right now. You come to my home, take you right now and go up. Matter of fact, I'm going up in that end of the country uh, Sunday deer hunting. And there's some old boys up there that uh, I've been friends with them forever. They wear a bit of overhauls every day. And they got a, a brand new, real clean pair that they wear on Sundays when they go to church. And uh, no, uh, people wear a bit of overhauls, but he said they didn't. And he talked Vince into it. So, so he, I guess he, uh, he pulled the plug on Uncle, Uncle Cletus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Uncle Cletus is going to be gone. He's getting fired. And I said, Well, I was looking for a job when I found this one. Then I found out that there's a bunch of dumbasses up here. So, I, you know, I wouldn't take nothing off anybody. I don't care how big, how strong they were, or who they were. Uh, you're going to talk down to me? I'll tell you uh, what kind of stupid son of a bitch you really are. Uh, so, that's the way it is. And if you don't like it, we can fight, or you can just uh, get huffy and walk off like a little girl. Uh, which... I assume That's he got huffy. Huh? I assume Vince got huffy and walked off like a little girl. Uh, Vince Russo did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did because uh, uh, basically when I told him I'd smack shit completely out of him and uh, and we'd do it. And we'd do it. I, I didn't care because at that at point in time, when you've got somebody like him that knows nothing about professional wrestling, and I've been in the business for 36 years or something like that, and then he's going to try to tell me I don't know what's going on? No. No, that's the time somebody needs spanking. But then, see, he would always, uh, well, i got to go. He'd get out of the room and all this kind of shit, so... There you go. Now you know the rest of the story.